What's up, guys? We're pumping some auger pa uh, auger cast pilings today, is what what I've been told. Also called slurry holes. So I'm unfamiliar with these. This is the first time I've ever done it, but it's uh, kind of interesting. So I'll show you the grout mix I'm pumping, and uh, I'll go out there and show you how that rig works. So right there's our grout, and I put a uh, little orange fencing there to. Uh, keep any chunks from going through the hopper because we are hooked up to a three inch line and uh, this thing is drilling down about 45 feet roughly and then we kick the pump in and fill it back up so let me uh, let me show you how this drill works a little bit and So we've got this reduced to, uh, I've got a uh, five to four coming off the boom and then they have a four to three, which we're hooked up to three inch line. I believe they said they had 125 feet. And it pumps it way up there and at the top of that machine right there, it goes to a five inch pipe that goes down that shaft and there's a little trap door right in the bottom of that thing. It opens up whenever we start pumping grout so actually it actually goes pretty quick once you start pouring but uh the first time i've ever done this so i've been hearing that this is always done with a trailer pump and we do not have a trailer pump so we're trying to boom the first thing i was concerned about is the grout sitting in the elbows but with as hard as i'm pumping i don't believe that's going to happen so oh here we go he's just starting to dig right now so he gets down so far he's going to that's like a little connect deal there he's gonna disconnect it he's gonna slide that back up to the top and then he'll push this on down in the ground Up. 
I gotta shut him off here in just a minute, and then he's gonna run back up and grab the top. shut him off so he's gonna come back from the top run that back down connect back to the bottom and then we will kick it back on Here comes another load of grout. I'll show you here why I've got that netting on there. I've got that on there because of this reason right here. If we let any of those go through and get into the three inch line, we are gonna have some serious issues. So that seems to be working pretty good. Let's see what he's got. Looking good to me. Nailed it.
right there is the trap door that opens up and puts the grout out. It's kind of cool. Here he goes. fixing clean out the three inch line we got air going to the canister we're gonna crack the valve ever so slow be careful with these things and you'll see it kind of fall out of the pipe over there we already ran it one time through so this is gonna be the second second time through all right guys thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed it. That was my first time ever doing grout uh, through a drill rig like that. I've got to start my cleanup process. I thought I'd show you all, but uh, in the meantime, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And uh, wish me luck. You can see off in them barrels, maybe. You can see a little bit that whole brown ring right there is all grout filled up so wish me luck catch y'all on the next video so guys i thought i'd show you when i got back to shop this is the build up in my tube so tomorrow i'm gonna have close i can get zoomed in there so tomorrow definitely is going to be some uh, serious chiseling trying to get this off so uh, yeah great job uh, pumped really good but uh, cleanups gonna be a little bit of a trick so thought I'd show you all right guys so this will be the last video now today and just showing you the aftermath of pumping grout all day I did just a fuzz over 60 yards and uh, Let's see, we started about 8 o'clock or a little after, and I left there about 4, uh, four in the afternoon, so, uh, because I was trying to clean here, so I dumped a bunch of straight concrete acid in the back. I'm hoping that overnight this will kind of sit in there and kind of work its way into that, and I guess... We'll whip out the jackhammer and try and start chiseling that out of there. But uh, there's still a lot that was built up down underneath. And uh, we'll try and get that, get that out also. So I don't want to zoom in very good there, is it? There's a lot caked underneath and I've got a lot and my barrel down there so uh, hoping this acid will help out I think I can get that out of the barrel pretty quick with the chisel gun but in the tube is gonna be a little bit of a bear so either way thanks for watching hit the like button uh, the like button when you hit that it does a bunch and uh, subscribe and share it with your friends Appreciate it, guys, and uh, now you can wish me luck. So hopefully we will get this cleaned out tomorrow, and, and uh, we actually had a pour that got canceled uh, because they're calling for 95% chance of rain tomorrow. And so uh, we've got to get, get ourselves caught up. Our 32-meter went down the other day. Uh, we could only get to 100 bar pressure on it, which it should pressure out at 360 so uh it's being worked on right now so we're down the truck and it's kind of putting a bind on us so anyway thanks for watching and uh catch you guys on the next one